What's up guys? My name is Eve. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate you guys are fucking awesome. Now I made it through another empties. This is going to be all my May empties. Yes, it's going to look like a lot more than a month, but my family can use a lot of things. <laughs> now I'm going to hold this up so you can take a peek at it. And I do have a lot more empties on a playlist, so if you want to check out more of my trash, go check those videos out. Let's go ahead and jump in it because I got a lot of shit. My family can, like I said, use a ton of things, and you're going to see that. <laughs> now I'm going to start with my favorite mouthwash. This is the TheraBreath, and this is the Professional Formula Healthy Smile. So this one has fluoride in it. Every time I brush my teeth, I rinse my mouth out with this. The other one I use for just an added kick of fresh breath. This is the Thayer Breath and this is the Invigorating Icy Mint. The other thing I love about this is it has a safety seal on it. A lot of mouthwashes don't. I feel safe that nobody's tampered with this and that's why I will always have this in my routine and I've already repurchased it. A favorite body wash I'm gonna keep repurchasing and I think this is pretty new on the market as well this is the Olay exfoliating moisturizing and it has the formula of the b3 sugar and cocoa butter so this is my favorite formula that I've tried I've tried three of them and this one I like the most so this is the one I would repurchase Another body wash I absolutely love. This is Method Body and this is the Pure Peace scent. Absolutely love it. And I'm not a floral scent person and I love this. I would repurchase this. And what's funny is my husband likes that scent and that shocked the fuck out of me. Now bath salts. If you're in extreme pain, this is for you. Being a server, my feet hurt and my hips hurt. Running around, me and my husband need this. I've gotten my friends onto this as well when they're in pain if they have back pain and they fall in love with this this is the village naturals chronic pain and fatigue and it has arnica along with epsom salts in it now this is a two user do not listen to the bag and do nine baths it won't work for you but if you soak in this for 20 minutes you're going to be pain free and you're going to be able to sleep throughout the night and that's a blessing right there now i have one i have two I have three. <laughs> now I have another salt. Now this is when I just want to relax in the tub. I'm not in extreme pain. This is my favorite salt by far. This is the Dr. Teal's and this is the pure Epsom salt. Absolutely love it. This is the six pounder, no scent. I get my scent from my bubble bath because I don't think a bubble bath is perfect without bubbles, of course. You, I don't like just Epsom salts in it. And I like the scents that come in the Dr. Teal's one. This is the foaming bath by Dr. Teal's to soothe and comfort. And this smells like milk and honey. It's so comforting. Absolutely love this. Will repurchase. And the other one, let me see if I have it here. Yep. This is the second scent I love. This is the black elderberry. It just smells so delicious. And some bubble baths, you put it in there and the bath just only stays bubbly for a little bit and then they all pop and these bubbles last you the entire time. And I usually take pretty long baths, between 20 minutes and close to an hour. Sometimes I get into my book, guys. <laughs> Now, I've gotten a lot of compliments about my hair color. When I first dyed my hair, the color faded really fast. Because being a server and working out, sometimes I wash my hair one to two times a day. I know that's excessive. I'm a germaphobe. I don't like to have dirty anything on me. So I wash my hair that's just how it is and if i had to sacrifice color i was willing to do it then i found these conditioners and that's why my hair is still the copper cola that i got from igk absolutely love it i got the copper shade in this and i can vouch with how good this conditioner is this is the cara color color and clean conditioner and this is the copper shade absolutely love this i've repurchased this i have four on hand right now because i use this depending of how my color is but usually i can get away with using this once every two weeks if i've really exfoliated my scalp and done things to it and i can see it fading i have used this once a week and it's completely fine you can't overuse this 
this is my husband and son's favorite shampoo slash conditioner i don't use it i have baby fine hair and my hair broke with this so it was too strong for me but they have really thick coarse hair so they love it and this is the win cleansing conditioner and this is the fall tuscan pear I get mine on QVC. This is where I get the Big Daddy ones because this is 32 ounces. So this lasts me for a while. A body wash my family did not like. They threatened to me if I bought this, they would kick my butt. <laughs> This is the Method Man, and this is the Sea and Surf Body Wash. I thought being guys, they would like this because I'm getting the girly scents. They absolutely hated it, so I will not rebuy this. These eye drops are the bomb, I'm telling you. This is the Bausch and Lom Lumify. It's like bleach for your eyes. It whitens it. I have allergy eyes. My husband suffers from red eyes as well, and these get it super white. They're extremely gentle. The eye doctor says that you can use it, which is a thumbs up. They usually tell you be careful with eye drops. These are amazing. They are pricey, but they're amazing. This body scrub, I just newly found it. I'm a tree hut girl, absolutely love it. I'm going to continue to buy it because it's amazing. That's a more of a grit. This is about a medium grit to it, but the scent and everything about it is amazing. This is the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Body Scrub, and this is Exfoliate and Renew. Absolutely love this. Like I said, it's about a medium grit. If you're used to the tree hut, that one I would say is a more heavy scrub. Plus, I don't want to overuse salt scrubs because I don't want to over dry out my skin. So the sugar scrub, I'm going to continue to use that a lot more than this, but I'm going to definitely rebuy the Dr. Teal scrub. This face wash, it... <sighs> It didn't it wow me. It was fine, but I have better face washes, so that's why I won't buy this. This is the Pure Skin by Elf Cleanser, and it has oat milk and niacinamide. It just didn't wow me. I have better ones that I like. The toner in this collection is freaking amazing. So I would definitely buy the toner, the face wash, no. Here's the other formula that I was telling you that I tried. This is the Olay Ceramide, and it's supposed to be cleansing and strengthening. It just wasn't my favorite. I liked the other formula, so I wouldn't rebuy this one. Here is one of my favorite foundations. It has been replaced, so I'm not going to rebuy this. I know you guys are going to be shocked. <laughs> I have two backups of it. Of course, I'm going to use it. I love it, but I have a cheaper version. So this is the KVD Good Apple. And if you could see this sucker, I used every bit. It's not a bad foundation. It is freaking amazing. But I'm going to buy the, I believe it's the Healthy Skin Foundation by Physicians Formula. Absolutely amazing. And that I accidentally found because of my very good friend, Michelle Martin. She has a channel on here. She's one of my personal friends. I love her to death. She's amazing with what she does with her nails. I am watching all her videos because mine, if you look at my nails, they are busted. They are crusted and busted. And she has the most gorgeous nails. I'm buying all the, pro the products that she's recommending and I'm going to amp up my game. I have to watch her videos and get as the best I can because I know as soon as I try to do my nails, I'm not going to be as flawless as her, but I'm telling you, she does makeup videos, she does unboxings, but I really love her nail videos. She's talented as hell. This is my favorite body oil. I never liked body oil. I love face oil. I love hair oil, but I just never found the perfect body oil until I found this. This is the Aveeno, and this is the Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist, and it has oat oil and Jehova oil. This is very greasy, so I'm going to hold this up. The sprayer is not the best in the world, but it is spraying out an oil. So as long as it's moisturizing my skin, I'm happy with it. Now I have some eye masks. I have the Tula, and this is the Probiotic and Superfood. Eyes feel amazing, and I just dropped it. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I... 
if they don't have the other one I'm about to talk about, I would rebuy this. This is not shabby. It did a good job, but I'm going to tell you why I'm going to buy this one. This is the Wander Beauty, and it's a baggage claim gold eye mask. I don't give a crap that it's gold. It is moisturizing. The other one was, but the thing that I like about it is the material sticks to your skin. There's always with how my eyes are curved. I don't get it with me having big cheeks or something, but they always lift up in a certain part. This did not. This I put down. I did my housework. I got ready. They stayed put, which is hard to do with eye mask for my weird face shape. I don't get what it is. And I've used two of them so far. I will not be without this. They are freaking amazing. Amazing. This shampoo I would not rebuy. I've had this in underneath my cupboard for it has to be freaking two years. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind, and I just had to get through it because I'm like, it's gonna go bad. This was not cheap. I like Briogeo, but I like the Don't Despair Care line. I absolutely love that line. This is just not for me. I'm going to talk about one deodorant I'm not going to rebuy and then my holy grail favorite. The one I'm not going to rebuy is the Degree Clinical Protection Summer Strength. So being in Florida in the heat, I'm sweating like a mug. So I thought that this would be better. I don't know if it's better because this pissed off my armpits. I got the biggest reddest rash underneath my arms and that's not comfortable. So I'm not going to rebuy this because I guess it's too strong for my puny skin. The one I absolutely love and when I do sweat it smells good because it smells like vanilla. And this is the Old Spice Oasis and it's in the men's department but I'm telling you it smells like vanilla frosting. It is delicious. And like I said, I sweat with that, but I don't smell, which is the most important part. I think it's impossible not to sweat in Florida. <laughs> I am working, serving outside in the heat, dripping sweat. I mean, we have what it's called. I don't know if you're not in the restaurant industry, you won't know, but we have these big freezers. I walk into it and all of us are standing there trying to get cool before we have to go back in the heat again, not to pass out. So that one's amazing because you sweat, but it smells like vanilla. It doesn't smell like arm funk and BO. Now this is my favorite shaving oil or shaving cream. This is the EOS More Shea for dry skin. This feels amazing. You need the littlest bit. I mean about a dime size for a leg and I got a big ass leg. So I'm gonna hold this up. It's just amazing. You don't wanna overuse this. If you're clogging up your razor too much, then that means you're overusing it. So this is amazing. We'll repurchase that. They have another good one if you don't want to get that one. If you get Dollar Shave Club, I really like the uh, shave butter from them. That is amazing as well. I used it from my husband. I stole his when I didn't have that and I loved it a lot. Now this I'm going to 100% repurchase. I just did a video on this and this is from Jeffree Star Skin and this is the face wash. Absolutely love it. It smells like strawberry cotton candy. It is amazing. It is a clarifying face wash but it doesn't smell like it's a treatment face wash it smells so delicious i love it a lot i'm gonna repurchase this i'm on a no buy or trying to be on a no buy but that one i'm gonna splurge since I talked about this, let's go ahead and talk about the cleansing butter. This is the Jeffree Star Skin. And when I get through all my cleansing butters, because I have a shit ton of them, I would repurchase this because this is a really good one. This is me, my family's favorite toothpaste that I always butcher. I still don't know how to say it. Cloace, I'm guessing. But I get this on Amazon and it's for sensitive mouse. And my family loves this. It's a fluoride toothpaste, but some fluoride toothpaste, it my mouth doesn't feel clean. So I'm really picky on toothpaste and I love that one. This is another bath product. Can you tell I like baths? <laughs> This is the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains, and this is the concentrated bath soap. So what I do is when 
I want to use my regular Epsom salts from Dr. Teal's and I just want an extra boost. If I'm kind of a little achy, I just put a little cap full of this because you only need the littlest bit. Or if I come home from work and my feet are killing me, but I don't like to take baths at night. So when I come home at 11, 12, 1 o'clock at night, I don't want to sit in the bathtub. I want to eat something and I want to go to sleep. So what I do is I do a sprinkle of this. I put the shower thing down the water valve whatever it's called and while I'm taking a shower my feet are soaking in this and it feels amazing I can actually sleep at night without my feet killing me and cramping up a body wash I did not like this is not their fault I have their cleaner and this just reminds me of when I'm cleaning the house and it's not pleasant of me showering it it's just my mind's caught up with it, it I don't enjoy it. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Body Wash with essential oils. It just feels like I'm cleaning with house cleaner. So I won't rebuy that. Like I said, it's just tied in with my crazy head. If you like the spray and the, the cleaner, then you would probably like that. This is my favorite, one of my favorite masks I do in the bath. So when I'm taking a bath, I like to multitask. I do a hair treatment. I do a face treatment. I will shave. I do a lot of things in the bath. That's just my German mentality. It's like, how much shit can I get done while I'm relaxing? Because I can't just personally relax. I need to know how many things I can check off my list for that day. And this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion. Absolutely love it. It warms up. Your face looks amazing after you wash this off. I have repurchased this as well. I'm starting to see the bottom of my box. <laughs> Can you believe I've used all this, me and my family, in one freaking month? You should have checked out last month. That was, that was absurd. There was a whole thing of this and a bag on the side. This is one of the face serums I absolutely love. This is the... I don't even know how to... I love it, but I don't know the name of it. Viola violation that can't be right this is the snow mushroom water serum it is absolutely amazing it sinks in your skin your skin looks amazing and plump that day and this i got at a sale from paula's choice and then i found the 20 percent, and i stopped using it but i was like this was expensive i need to get through it so i used the Polish Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster and it did not work for me anymore because I, my skin got used to the 20%. So what I did is I put a quarter size amount and then I put one drop of the 20% so I would be able to use this because these are not cheap. They are the 20% I'm telling you. If you have skin issues with breakouts and big pores, you need to use this. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I love cream products. My dry skin loves cream products. And one of my friends turned me on to this. This is a Stila, and this is the Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. Here it is. And here's the inside. You can see I scraped that shit clean. Now, I'm not throwing this away. I'm gonna wash it because you know what? how to use this. This is an amazing thing if you have highlighter drops. You put it in here and it has these things that when you rub your brush in it and then you tap it on, your drops of highlight look amazing. I like to use Iconic. I think that you could use any uh, highlighter drops. This would probably work for blush drops too. So instead of putting it on your hand and then your skin is soaking it up, this is amazing for that. So I'm putting that off to the side because I'm gonna clean that and use that for my drops. This is one of my favorite bronzers. This is by Say, and this is Light Bronze Sun Melt. Last time I checked, they were sold out which broke my little heart. You can see I used all of it. And that's hard because with my fair skin, a lot of shit looks orange on me. Oh, look. I guess we went through eye drops a lot because here's another Lumify. So this is the second Lumify. How does that even happen? So this is my favorite lotion. I've already bought the Big Daddy on the Sephora sale, but here's a little mini version. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and this is the Itty Bitty Baby. Isn't that cute? 
absolutely love this when it heats up outside and this just this comes alive in the heat let me show you and make sure that you see it's empty like bitch let me see the empty pot i don't believe you <laughs> now i have two sponges i have the real techniques one I would not repurchase this one because I fell in love with this one. This is the L'Oreal and no, I did not keep this in here. I just opened up the new one, took it out and put my old one in this. Did you think I have my shit together that I would sit there and keep this on the side to put my dirty one in there? No, I don't have it that way. <laughs> my shit's not that together. <laughs> I am not that organized, even though I try to be. Now these are the little discs that I use to exfoliate now. This has been a game changer for me. This is a pretty new product, I believe. It's the Neutrogena, it's this handheld thing and then these stick to it. So you wet this pad, you stick this pad on the thing, you turn it on and it vibrates and you go in a circle motion and you do it one to two times a week. I've been pretty freaking lazy so I've only done it once a week for three weeks right now. I'm due for another one. But let me show you the little pads and you just wet it, you go like this, and you stick it on the machine. If you wanna see a video on that machine, let me know. But that's what I use for exfoliating now. It's a game changer. I used to pay a shit ton for very expensive products to exfoliate my face, and that has done a better job than all of them. This was a birthday gift. Yes, my birthday was in January and I finally got to using this because this is not one of my favorite anti-aging serums. I know a lot of people have this. I read somewhere that there's silicones in it and I don't want my anti-aging serums to have silicone in it. Call me crazy, it's just not my favorite thing. This is the long comb, Genifique, but of course I wanted to use it up so I went over and said, I don't want it to go bad even though that it's free. This is a pricey item and my cheap ass heart couldn't let it go to waste. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I use this as a primer and your skin looks amazing. Absolutely love it. I bought the full size during the Sephora sale. This was just a $2.50 add-on during the Ipsy sale. And one of my toothbrush heads. I was using, if you watch the early ones of my empties, a soft uh, touch toothbrush. Once my teeth didn't wasn't so sensitive, I went over and I was like, I'm gonna try to use a better toothbrush. I spoke with my dentist about it and she says, okay, if it doesn't hurt, it would be beneficial investing in a higher grade toothbrush. So I got the Philips Diamond Series or something because before I had to use the soft touch because I put a toothbrush in my mouth. My teeth were so sensitive, it was crazy. So because of my wonderful dentist, we built it up so I don't have as extreme sensitive teeth. So this is the one that I use. And we're gonna see with how my cleaning goes next time. I hope that I get a better rating than I did before. Now that's all my empties. Look at all this. And I was smart and put a paper towel because Two videos ago I didn't do that and I had liquid all over my clothes which was nasty <laughs> since this is a month worth of crap. Now you know what time it is. It is fur baby time. My old fur baby Miss Sugar Bear. She's going to growl because she doesn't want to get picked up because she thinks she's 50 pounds and six feet tall. Now I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you guys so much. You guys are fucking awesome as always. Bye guys.